Hi, it's Gomber, and yeah, welcome to the official explanation video about the Mushroom Bridge shortcut, also known as the Sudoku method. This video will explain how it works, why it works in the current strategies. Uh, but first, let's start with the why. Now, if you want a more detailed explanation, feel free to watch any of my MKDD research videos. Uh, but here's a summary. So, every MKDD track is divided into checkpoints. We think that there are key checkpoints as well, but we don't know how many there are, or if there are in groups or whatever. Uh, anyway, key checkpoints are the checkpoints you need to cross in order for the lab to count, but we don't know much on this area yet. So from messing around in Dryder Desert, I knew that by crossing the finish line, then being placed behind the finish line, you could go to a certain checkpoint, then come back and have the lap count. If you don't get placed back somewhere before the finish line, then it'll just be an ordinary lap. We call this a Lakitu hop, or lack hop for short. After doing some more research, I'd come to the conclusion that the main checkpoints had to be somewhere around here. I noticed something interesting, the checkpoint extended a little bit beyond the track. To cut a long story short, I found out a way to reach the checkpoint from the bridge. It's known as the bridge hop. I also found a way to do the Lakitu hop. Then I found bridge hop shroomless, making the trick viable in time trial. Then I found Lucky to Hop Shroomless, opening up the way to do the trick twice in one run and get flaps under 5 seconds. Here's how to do all the methods. First I want to start with the original ways of doing them, so with the mushroom. An interesting thing to note is that the current shortcut 3 lap record doesn't actually use those tricks. However, it's good to know and, you know, it's, it's for documenting purposes. Cool. Here's how to do Lucky to Hop with Shrooms. First you have to drive a lap normally, but stop before the finish line. Turn around and drive up to the grass, then turn around again. You have to align yourself at a slight left angle, making sure that you don't hit an invisible wall extending from the fence. You might be wondering what we're setting up for. Well, our goal is to hit the finish line and then get latitude in that order. The grass slows us down, so we need to use a mushroom. However, in order to reach that finish line, we need to get a little bit more distance than we normally reach from just shrooming off. This is because a mushroom actually increases your downwards momentum as well. So to fix this, we simply cancel the shroom for around half of the duration. And then when we fly off, we want the shroom to end right there. So you start by slowly backing up while holding B. Then right when you hit the wall, or just a little bit before, press the shroom button. Keep holding B a little bit later, and you have to figure out the timing for yourself. You release B and you press A. Uh, like I said earlier, you're aiming for the shroom to wear off just as when you leave the platform. So if your angle and timing is right, you get a little bonk from the wall propelling you even further. And that way you can finish the first section of the glitch. So then this part two. Since this is still the mushroom version of the trick, you'll need to grab another mushroom as you lose them whenever you get picked up by Lakitu. At this point, the trick was still Grand Prix only. Align yourself with the bridge rail and shroom around halfway on the first panel of the bridge, you know, the, the colored ones. Then with the correct timing, hold right and drift. Then release right when you're about to fall off. The goal again is to time it so that the mushroom wears off right before the jump. The angle is important as well, as the checkpoint is very precise. You need to get a little air by bumping on the bridge. Uh, try to touch the middle of this red brick right here, as it seems to be the most consistent. Once you've done that, press A when you land and you complete the lap. However, now of course we know that both of these strats are inferior to the mighty shroomless strats. Uh, so let's start off with Lucky to Hop again, right? So there's two ways to do this, uh, but it comes down to the same principle. The simplest way is to get up on the bridge and drop down on the pillar. <laughs> to be honest, I never thought messing around on there as a kid would eventually end up being a strategy, but here we are. So turn around and line up however you like. The goal is to land from the pillar to right before the invisible wall. Bounce on the grass while releasing a mid-air mini turbo. Uh, you can do this with a left or right facing mini turbo. It depends on your preference and sometimes the cards you're using. If all is done correctly, you'll bounce, get the wall clip and make it. Keep in mind, if you trigger the lap after the first frame of Lakitu's animation, the lap won't count. The other version of doing this is actually by going on the bridge rails. What is Mushroom Bridge coming to, dude? Then depending on the cart, either steering or braking a little bit, jumping on the pillar, making sure to hold drift and barely clip the edge of the pillar, then again landing it in the same spot as you normally would. You might think that this is getting ridiculous. You're right. Let's move on to doing the bridge hop shroomless. 
There's two ways to do it with this trick as well. But I'm just going to briefly mention the first way, as the second way is way easier and faster. So you can drive up the bridge, charging them T, turn around, and then sideways boost off. If you want to do this, pay close attention to when I start the drift and when I turn, and you want to try and hit that red brick I mentioned earlier. Uh, this way is actually pretty tricky to do consistently, so the better way is to do it using a mini turbo, just from the second half of the fourth panel. And you just slightly turn during the drift, so that once again you land around the middle of that red brick. Touch your drift whenever you need to, but recommended is between the first and the second panel. So for the flap, also known as fastest lap, for reasons we're not quite sure of, you have to drive a lap, but just before you hit the finish line, turn around, and do the bridge hop instead of the lackey to hop. Then you have to perform Shroomless lackey to hop, right? To try and get the first frame of lackey to, as this is the fastest. Any earlier, and you lose frames per lap. Any later, and the lap won't count. Then whenever you land, you have two options. Either hold drift in a direction, and press A when you land to get the lackey to boost, or just press A when you land without drifting. This last case is only faster when you get the right lackey to RNG, Yes, like it's placing you down is actually RNG, and it's not common at all to get the fast one. In fact, some cars, even if you do get the fast one, it's not even worth it. Uh, so yeah, be sure to ask around, or do some testing yourself. So, one thing I haven't really mentioned yet is the use of different cards, right? So, for 3 lap, the barrel train will probably reign supreme. For flap, however, yes, the current flap actually uses a heavyweight card. It actually has to do the other version of Shroomless Lack Hop, as the acceleration is too low to make it work from the pillar. Yep. For now we don't know what the fastest is, so I'll just leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed this explanation video, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, yeah, okay, bye bye see ya.